Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we will be implementing examples using Elasticsearch 8. In one of the previous tutorials, we had configured HTTPS or SSL for Elasticsearch using self-signed certificates. In this tutorial, we will be configuring HTTPS SSL for Elasticsearch using CA-issued digital certificates. For this, I will be taking reference of my website javanews.com. So, go to Spring Boot Elasticsearch. In Spring Boot Elasticsearch tutorials, the tutorial that we will be implementing today is Configuring Elasticsearch SSL using CA issued digital certificate. In a previous tutorial, we had configured Elasticsearch using self signed certificates. So, you can go through this tutorial here. In this tutorial, we had seen how, in order to configure SSL for Elasticsearch and Kibana, we need digital certificates. And these digital certificates are issued by certificate authorities. In this tutorial, we had created our own certificate authority for Elasticsearch and generated self signed certificates using which we configured SSL for Kibana and Elasticsearch. Also, we had seen in detail the internal working of SSL using these certificates. For this tutorial, you can go through the YouTube video here. In today's tutorial, we'll be configuring Elasticsearch using certificates issued by Komodo Certificate Authority. So, if we go to the link here, so Komodo they provide SSL certificates for our domain which are trusted by browsers and operating systems. In the realm of web security, certificates issued by CA, they stand distinctly apart from self-signed certificates by offering built-in trust from browsers and operating systems along with verified identity authentication. In case of web security, digital certificates issued by CA, that is certificate authority, they stand distinctly apart from self-signed certificates by offering built-in trust from browsers and operating system along with verified identity authentication. So, if we want a certificate from any CA, including Komodo Certificate Authority, we first have to identify ourselves as the owner of the domain. Only then Komodo or any other CA will issue the certificate. So, the certificates issued by CA, they are more trustworthy. We have seen previously that self-signed certificates, they trigger a warning that this certificate it cannot be trusted and this message it can alarm users. CA certificate, they provide seamless browsing experience with reassuring padlock icon. So, for production environments and public facing websites, CA certificates are the professional choice despite their cost as they deliver both encryption and validated authenticity. On the other hand, self-signed certificates though free and adequate for development or testing environments are limited to providing basic encryption without the crucial element of trust that modern web security demands. So, let us begin with the implementation implementation part. For this tutorial, we'll be allocating AWS Unix instance on which we'll be running Elasticsearch. For this, we'll be downloading Elasticsearch RPM and installing it. I've connected to the AWS Unix instance using PuTTY and in OPT, we'll be creating a directory named Elastic. And inside this Elastic, we'll be downloading the RPM, Elasticsearch RPM using this wget command. So, copy this command. Next, using the rpm install command, we'll be installing this downloaded Elasticsearch rpm. Again, copy this command. So, here the downloaded Elasticsearch rpm, it has been successfully installed. Let us now check the status of this Elasticsearch service that has been installed. Currently, this Elasticsearch service, it is disabled. That is, it is not running. So, let us start this service. This will take some time. So, the systemctl start elasticsearch.service command, it has executed. Let us now again check the status using the status command. And now we can see that the Elasticsearch, it is in running state. This Elasticsearch instance, it runs on port 9200. So, for this AWS instance, I have already opened this port 9200 for external traffic. Also, the Elasticsearch instance, it runs by default on HTTPS. So, if you now go to HTTPS, the IP address colon 9200, we'll be able to access the Elasticsearch instance. In our case, the IP address is 3.135.234.84 and 9200 is the port on which Elasticsearch is running. So, let us go to this address. So, here it will give this warning not secure because we still we are using self-signed certificate which is used by default by Elasticsearch. Click on advanced, proceed and here it asks for the credentials. Next, let us reset the password for this Elasticsearch instance. So, for this we will need to go to user share elastic search and inside this there will be a bin folder we'll be making use of the elastic search reset password command here and the command for this is elastic search reset password hyphen u elastic that is for the elastic user and we want to do this in the interactive mode so in previous tutorials also we have seen this i'll set the password as elastic so, if we now go back to the Elasticsearch instance, I'll just refresh this. And then put the username as Elastic, which is default, and the password also as Elastic, which we just set now. Here we are able to access Elasticsearch instance. 
and as we are using Cellsoin certificates, so it is still not secure. On this AWS machine on which we are currently running the Elasticsearch instance, I've already configured it to run Java Inus. Also, the GoDaddy DNS, it is pointing to this AWS machine IP address that we are currently using. Previously, we were able to access the Elasticsearch instance on port 9200 using this IP address. So on this IP address, I am also running Java Inus. So suppose if I remove this 9200, and just go to this HTTPS and the IP address that is 3.135.234.84 here we can see that it is giving the connection is not private if you click on advanced here it is showing that this IP address it is trying to access a cert security certificate that is from www.javainews.com this is because we are trying to access the javainews.com using this IP address but the certificate it is issued for this particular domain name so as currently we are not accessing with this domain name but with this IP address so it is giving us this exception and here if we click on proceed it will take us to Java News website now let us try to access the Elasticsearch instance using this domain name so Elasticsearch instance it is running on port 9200 so here again it is giving us an exception your connection is not private that is because for the domain name www.javainews.com Komodo it has already issued a certificate and now Elasticsearch instance it is not using this certificate but a self-signed certificate. So what we need to do is we need to configure Elasticsearch instance with the certificate that is issued by Komodo for this Java News domain name and once we do that then we'll be able to securely access the Elasticsearch instance using this domain name. So as just discussed for the domain name javainews.com I got the digital certificate issued by Komodo certificate website. For getting this certificate I had to provide some details like this CSR that is the certificate certificate signing request and after verifying that yes I am the legitimate owner of javainews.com the certificate it was provided to me by Komodo the certificate it was in the format javainews.com.p7b once I get the certificate I imported the certificate in a keystone named elastic.jks and this elastic.jks will be using for configuring SSL for Elasticsearch so if we go back to the AWS instance where we have our Elasticsearch instance running go to the EPC Elasticsearch folder and here I have already copied elastic.jks next we will be modifying the elasticsearch configuration file that is elasticsearch.yml to make use of this elastic.jks so to very elasticsearch.yml so here we will be modifying this configuration we do not need all this so I will just delete this so this is the current security configuration for our elasticsearch instance will be modifying this a bit so here xpac.security.http.ssl this is the configuration for all the http connections made to this elastic search instance so here we'll be specifying the key store path the key store file that we have just copied to the etc folder that is elastic.jks in the previous tutorials we have already seen that the configurations for transport it is for communication between different elastic search nodes so currently we have only a single Elasticsearch instance running and we do not need this transport configuration. So I will be removing this. The rest I will be keeping it as the same. Next let us stop the Elasticsearch instance and start it again. We will start it again. So here during startup it has given us some exceptions. Let us check what these exceptions are. The log file it is present in the where log elasticsearch elasticsearch.log file. So here it is giving us the exception that the password for elastic.jks it is incorrect. In the modified configuration file we have not provided the password for elastic.jks key store file. For this we need to go to the elasticsearch bin folder which is there in the user share elasticsearch bin and here we have the elasticsearch key store file using which we store the credentials for the elasticsearch configuration so elasticsearch key store and let us do a list so currently elasticsearch key store it has the values for these four properties and we'll be modifying the value for this property that is expect security http ssl key store secure password so this will be the password of the elastic key store file that we have just copied we don't need the transport layer uh, property so we'll be removing these so let us first remove these for this the command is elastic search key store removes so we'll be removing this transport one first 
Similarly, we'll be removing the other transport property. I'll also remove the property related to SKTP and I'll add it again then with the new value. If we do a list, yeah, these properties have been removed. Now I'll again be adding the property for configuring the password for HTTP SSL. And this is the password for my elastic.jks file. So we are done with configuring the password for the Elasticsearch key store file. Let us now try starting the Elasticsearch instance again. Here on running the startup command, it has at least not given us any exception message. Let us now do status. So here it is showing actively running. So Elasticsearch instance, it is running properly. Let us now check if we can access the Elasticsearch instance using this domain name. So refresh this. So here we can access the Elasticsearch instance using the domain name correctly. Also unlike before here we do not have any warning message or exception that the, this certificate it is not secure. So if you go here, connection is secure, certificate is valid. So here we can see that this certificate it is valid and it has been issued for javanews.com using which we are able to access the Elasticsearch instance. Hope you have understood this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be configuring Elasticsearch and Kibana to make use of Azure Active Directory credentials to authenticate an user. Thank you.